everybody welcome back to another video i am very excited right now because i sort of want to talk about this car for a long time and uh, there's a lot of news and a lot of discussions online about this particular car but is it the toyota brand new supra so with this brand new car i think it's launched not too long ago about a month or two ago and um, i think that really toyota has mixed comments coming you know about this car so heated discussion online the people discuss about you know how ugly the car looked like you know they don't really like the bmw motor and they shouldn't you know take the super name onto this car and uh, i remember back in the day um they had this ft concept or super concept so they have this super sort of look a little bit similar i sort of have the side by side and look a little bit similar but however the concept when i first come out it looks amazing i think this is what the new super is gonna look like um, but however i think after really sort of the when the new super hit the production it sort of changed a little bit um, and when i say but a little bit i think the you know the proportion of the roof and the fenders and the front and the back and the headlights it is not right i think toyota sort of brought these names back into production just like the toyota 86 um, coming from a86 now bring the new supra they sort of you know really want to get the same um, response as a toyota 86 and 86 definitely has gone up you know hugely everybody loved the car it's pretty cheap pretty you know reliable good fun car and many other markets modifications coming along with it but with the new super obviously is targeted not with the budget sort of review drive it's sort of on that premium review drive um, car category so however the price is not cheap either but for the car what are you getting the power you're getting the engine you're getting i think is doesn't really justify the super name so uh, no doubt it's going to be a good car but you know to have the super you know if they can produce some sort of toyota inline 6 based on the 2j previously you know that would be really really sick or put a 2j with twin turbo or whatever make make it make a big power from factory so you know it's all, all in the thinking up there you know so for people who don't know about the toyota supra i think uh, the old supra has become really really popular especially after the fast and furious franchise movies and uh yeah they are they're great cars good looking cars they got the 2j in there back in the 90s and they have such a you know 280 horsepower it's quite a lot so anyway with this new supra i have to say personally i'm not a big fan of how it looks i'm sure it will perform more good and then if, you know the driving feel is gonna be all right but i'm just not a big fan of you know how the car looks so in terms of the looks and the you know especially with the car this new just comes out in the production and uh, most of the people haven't even get their hands on it i haven't even seen a real car in person yet and uh, there's this brand new white body kit from uh, rockabunny pandem and uh, as always they have definitely killed it some of the lines on it is doesn't really make sense probably you know generally i think it really lift up the the look of the car by quite a lot um, so I'm happy if I were ever gonna buy a car I would run some sort of kit like this and just make it look a little bit better so on this topic modification of the new Supra uh, if you guys already seen some uh, online I'm sure you guys seen some um, Kinguchi was driving one Asbo was drifting and just basically doing the factory donuts <laughs> But what is crazy about this is Daigo Saito. Daigo Saito has built the brand new Supra into a professional drift car. So this is the huge news and by the time you guys are watching this, I'm sure you guys already come across some of the drifting which just happened at, uh, in Tokyo. <laughs> Daigo has official uh, relationship and partnership with uh, Toyota GR Racing and uh, he was given the shell pre-production and uh, so received the shell be able to work really really quickly so something like he only had four weeks to full build the car um, and the funny thing about it you know knowing Daigo myself and you know Daigo is part of the Drift Academy Japan guest coaches so uh, knowing him you know he doesn't really want to 
make the car you know only halfway so he really want to build a car like full-blown sort of way so very interesting you know with this car being so new even just roll off production line and there's no aftermarket parts available so really for him to be able to have a car at the end of the day to showcase to the crowd he need to develop everything new so he end up with um, you know obviously using number one motor using the 2JZ motor so Daigo is famous of running and building the 2JZ motors uh, in his JZX chassis back in the day and uh, so of course and being in the Toyota family he pretty much just used the Toyota 2J motor and dialed it in a thousand holes or something like that and made it real good inside um, the chassis um, apart from that, I think drivetrain is running a sequential control gearbox, he's running a winter's quick change too. All of those things, you know, are pretty common in the professional drift cars these days, and especially with the Daigo. With everything is drivetrain wise, is obsessed, is proven, is reliable, and uh, really competitive in the competition. Um, with still with a brand new chassis, you know, what really, really hard is the handling. You know, nobody knows the settings of the car, you know, how they can make the car drift well, get the traction, and also have big angle. So, um, Daigo partnered up with uh, Whitesfab, and the Whitesfab has pretty much, you know, is the biggest name in the drift competition world, apart from, you know, um, Pasha Max. There's only two names really in the competition place, and everybody else is really sort of just custom make their own ones. So, Whitesfab has developed this brand new, brand new kit for the Toyota Supra, the brand new Supra. Um, so by looking at some photos and, and uh, videos, it looks like very similar sort of kit that is um, adapted from a BMW. So having a BMW car myself and having the E90 sort of a style, you know, suspension and the lower arm settings and widespread, it looks a little bit similar. However, they did say they completely um, designed it ground up and this is brand new sort of um, uh, kit for this car. So I'm just pretty stoked on you know, how short the time frame was and they be able to develop everything uh, in that short time frame and have it on the car. So now the car has got a great drivetrain, it's got a great steering and he's been fabricating that chassis and um, being D1 GP legal so they can't really take much off the bare chassis. And But um, however, you know, everything else and just be carbon fiber, carbon fiber roof, dash, everything you can think of is carbon fiber, the doors, the door cards, um, just the usual Daigo Saito style. Um, apart from that, the big rival of Daigo obviously is Kawabata. So when Kawabata was uh, driving the GDR, um, Daigo was driving before the JZX and later was driving the Corvette and really sort of give um, um, uh, Masaho Kawabata a run for his money. So now uh, because Daigo is jumping on officially with the Toyota, and uh, guess what? Kawabata is also jumping on with the Toyota's new Supra. <laughs> with the Toyota Tires sponsor. And uh, I guess that's their new team for the season and the uh, Toyota team. Now, there's brand new two Supra in the D1 GP and they are both the highest ranking drivers, Daigo Saido and Kawabata. It's going to be really, really interesting with the season coming up. And uh, over in just last weekend, it happened at D1 GP or whatever. It's just like a shootout round. So Daigo has showcased the um, brand new build. Uh, also, Kawabata did bring his car to Odaiba, but mainly just on show. Um, I think he still have a little bit of work to do. So anyway, um, I'm excited just to see, you know, this car it's so new literally you know only a few cars rolling off the production line and people the buyers haven't even got it and now these professional drifters have already modified a full-blown like drift car and it just is absolutely amazing so we will be going to japan very very shortly i was told you guys uh in my other video so i'll be going into uh, drift academy japan in probably next couple of weeks and um, definitely we're gonna stop by um, Daigo shop so hopefully I can get some footage on uh, his brand new build and show you guys what the new super is gonna be like uh, so now I just found this super interesting with the Kawabata and uh, Daigo Saito coming on board with his new super at the same time so if you guys um, you just take a bet you know who's gonna win a battle you know when if there's a battle coming up with Daigo and versus Kawabata and all in the brand new Supra 
running pretty much the same engine to Jay-Z, who's gonna win? Who's gonna take that win, the first win? That's gonna be very, very interesting. Personally, I put a belief in behind Daiko Saido, but Kaobara is a very, very strong uh, person and uh, they got a great team as well. So it's really hard to say. So comment below, let me know, is uh, Daiko gonna win the battle or Kaobara? Apart from that is, um, um, I'm going to Japan, so a lot of Japan content is coming up, so make sure you stick to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel especially, make sure you subscribe, just click the subscribe button or the link below, uh, and also press the bell, get, you get notification when a video is coming up. Like and share as always, thank you guys for watching, see you guys in the next one.